Hey everybody, welcome to the 1804 show. I'm your host, Dollar Will, and got a special guest for y'all. Yeah, about time this happened. I've been waiting for this. You know, get ready to laugh, get ready to joke, get ready for everything. Gonna have a good time. Get this nigga up in here real quick. What's going on? What's good, man? Bro? Happy to be here, man. Man, about time. About time, <laughs> about time man. Man, I was just playing with you, dog. About time, though. It is about time, man. I was, I was waiting, though. I was patiently waiting to get back to it, man. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm happy you're here, though. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Um, shoot, usually, bro, I just pretty much, you know, go from beginning to the end, man. So it's all on yeah. you, man. Whatever you want to discuss. Okay. It's your show, man. Let's roll. Okay. Um, so basically, what made you realize that you was funny and made you want to, you know, take yourself serious and do your skits and everything like that? Uh man, it, it was it been a minute, man. It was uh since I was a kid, man, since I was like eight or nine years old. I used to just do crazy stuff in school, funny stuff, all type of funny stuff in school, man. And it just kept going. They always saying that, you know, like people always used to say that you're going to be rich or you're going to be this. I, used to, I ain't never used to want to take it serious. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when I got out of high school, I didn't start like I should take this serious. Like this, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is my craft right here. And I liked it, man. I like I like making people smile, man. I like making people laugh, you know. That helped my day. So that's when I went to taking it serious. Yeah, man, that's dope, man, because like I will watch your videos, man. Like to me, like the funniest one that you did, like I had showed everybody was when you did the virtual yeah. school. <laughs> when you had you had that beer, yeah. man. I don't know what who bear that is, man? That's the funniest yeah. bear. That's the most funniest facial expression. I was like, man, this nigga crazy. Like, I can see this nigga on TV, on BET, you know, like HBO, all that shit, man. Because it, it takes a lot of work, you know, do, doing those videos, man. A lot of people don't really understand just the whole concept and Cause you really acting out situations for yep. real, so so I really like that, man. Appreciate it, man. That's that's one of everybody's favorite. That one right there. <laughs> yeah, that was. How many views that did? I think it did about ten thousand, man. Yeah, did about ten thousand. Just on our city, on the city yeah. base, though. Right, right. That's what's up, man. Cause I think it was ten thousand people in who actually like consider that's funny you know what i'm saying because you know how many people be so uptight and everything can't take a joke can't take you know whatever you know they always want to try to discredit people man but i'm happy for you for that Thank man. You, man so so you ever thought about doing stand? yeah man that's that's or you did open that's what i'm looking you? forward to now i'm looking forward to stand up i'm trying to uh open for somewhere we was looking for it at the uh, start off something small like the indigo or something you know get something small you got to start small to end big you know so uh that's what i was looking forward to i'm ready for stand up man that's that's my that's my goal right there man that's my you know what i'm saying that's me stand up i like stand up really the skits just came along with it i'm a people's person in like contact you know face to face and laughter i'm more of a fun person being around you know than just the videos and so I'm really looking forward to, you know, I'm looking forward to the stand up, man. Somewhere open it soon. Right. Me too, man, cuz 
you know, we, we need just a sense of humor, man. We need all that humor, bro. Like, cause we went through some crazy shit, you know, this past year, man. And with the pandemic and, and everything and people just, you know, out of jobs and stuff like that. Laughter is the best medicine. Yes, it is, man. It's the best medicine. Yeah, man, because for real, like, I just wanted to just make sure that I had something like this for not just for our city, man, but just all over and everything, because I just love, you know, seeing people who actually take the time out to, you know, make people feel good, make people happy, make people grind and this and that, because we are trendsetters, man, because a lot of people just really don't understand the the hustle ambition you know and just trying to come up you know get it from the mud so but yeah man um i'm really happy that you came by bro like you know you are a very strong individual thank you man appreciate that you know and i ain't gonna fully go into detail with it but you know, when I, you know, came to you, I came to you, you know, out of sincerity, you know, because of the fact, like, I've been there. Yep. And and it takes for somebody to, been, to be there and have experienced what you experienced to hit you up and be like, hey, man, it's going to be all right. It's going to be tough, but it's not impossible. But you're strong. You're going to make it through it. And stuff like that and you know what I'm saying to me I feel like you know it not only that it made you stronger but it made you more like a hustler like just like okay this is what I gotta do now and there's no um just playing with it something gotta give something gotta give you when you put too much in it man you you know you put too much time in it you want something out of it you know what i'm saying and I, i've been putting so much time into stuff like this for years man probably for over a decade you know what i'm saying i've been doing videos and funny stuff for over a decade and i was just like man everybody else getting paid for it why can't i get paid for it you know what i'm saying or you know this is my gift so it, it's something that i should get paid for it. you know i put i put all my time into it basically you know get off work i'm all I'm thinking about is a skit, you know, or something to make somebody laugh, something to make somebody smile. I'm always looking forward to making somebody laugh or smile, you know, even if it can be a family, a friend, a kid. I just, I like to see somebody smile, you know, so that's where I get my gift from. Laughter, smiling, just a good heart, man, you know, and I got to keep going with it, man, hoping for the blessing, hoping for the blessings, man, to be on top one day, man, and I got to just keep pushing forward. Okay, man. I what what's your what's your last one? Do you have any characters like you name these people or you just do it like spontaneously, like on the spot? So you have like names to these people that you be making up, man, cause that that junkie funny to the mob, man. I, I love I love him, bro. He, he he gotta be like your favorite character besides the dude that you portray the Everest College dude, you know what I'm saying? Like we gotta see more. Yeah. Of them. Hey, let me be honest with you. Everything I do, everything I do, man, just be off the top of the the top of the head, man. I I tell somebody to record me. I can be anywhere. I can be at work. I'm like, man, just record me. Pull out your phone, man. Record me. They be like, what you finna do? I just do some stupid stuff, and they be like, man, you just came up with that. And I be, like, yeah. I just like everything is no ain't no practice with nothing, man. So I, you know, when I get to the practice on the big stage, it's gonna be something serious because it ain't nothing practice really. Everything is just right there man and mm -hmm. the names and everything the names just be i be making them up man as i go yeah man because that's that's you know gift you know gift people really don't understand talent and gifts being gifted you know um because just like me i i really don't have a script i don't write nothing down everything comes from here and everything because I want my stuff to be very authentic, and your stuff is really authentic. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. It's 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 it's, it's, re it's really realistic, like it's it, and it's really relatable as well. So that's why I believe that a lot of people can 
really like gravitate towards you because your stuff is really relatable because out of some of your characters like can be our uncle yep. or can be our yep. brother <laughs> can be our neighbor yep. or just somebody we see at the store every day man but also um besides that um i see that you, you know you a dad and everything like that so how about you go into that and just explain, you know, what being a dad means to you. Means a lot, man. You know, uh, being a dad is that's that's the most strongest thing to me. You know what I'm saying? That's more than being a son to me. You know, because uh, they didn't actually be here, and they they really come from the man. You know, so I love mines, man. I have I got five children. I love mines, man, and just being a dad makes me happy, man. You know, just putting a smile on them, just them calling me, you know, being around me, you know what I'm saying? Just, it's, it's a happy feeling, man. It's a blessing, man. And, you know, nobody ain't perfect. You know, we all make mistakes of being a father, but just learning and moving forward, you know, one better for your children, one better for you, one better for you to do for your children. That's what I look forward to, man. That's what I work for. That's what I I grind for. That's why I be funny. And, you know, I, I make my daughter smile. She watch my videos. I, so I, I try to limit it certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because... She watched me and, you know, she's 10 now, so that's my oldest. So I limited certain stuff because I know she watched me, but it's also to make her laugh too, you know. Let her know, like, this is your dad, you know, this is, is a brightening with me, man. It's like a like a sun over me. So basically with them, I just try to shine on them, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because kids, man, kids tell the truth. Like, if you if you're funny, if you yeah. still, they'll be the first ones to tell you, like, Oh, daddy, I ain't find that funny. Or uncle, I ain't find that funny. Like, I go through that with my nieces, man. Cause it, like, they're my worst critics, bro. And, you know, it just means a lot that, you know, my, my show got all the way to Detroit. M my nieces um, coming up to me like, hey, my classmates be watching your show and stuff like that. And, and that meant, meant a lot to me, bro. Like, cause you really creating a, a legacy. Blessing, man. It's a blessing. And yeah, it's a blessing, and also it's just you allowing yourself to be, com you know, commemorated as well. And and I respect people who go getters, man. Who you know, very ambitious, who have dreams and goals and all that good stuff, man. Because they really, you know, dudes that we know, man. They you know don't take life. Seriously, you know, they just existing. They're not living. And you got to live, you know, do it all, man, because we are here for a purpose, bro. And we never know who we impact or who we inspire in our daily lives, just being ourselves. Because that's why I just make sure that um, I, I make sure I keep good people around me. You got to keep the, the best um influences around you because a lot a lot of people just don't want people to become better than them or bigger than yes, them. yes sir and that's the you know the trick to this is making sure that you don't lose yourself and you keep yourself focused and disciplined man because it's all discipline dog and um what else i wanted to ask you um so, besides comedy, what you like to do? I like to work, man. I like working, man. I, I don't, I don't consider that a good thing, but I don't consider it a bad thing. But I like working, but I want to, I want to just work for myself, you know. Just be about all about myself is working. But for now, I like working, man. I work at a uh, Blue Diamond Steel. A lot of people hate that job, you know. But everything for someone ain't for you, and everything for you ain't for someone else. You know what I'm saying? So. It gets me by, it helps me take care of my children, helps me take care of myself, and I'm happy, you know? So I like working. That's a good thing. I like being a dad, you know? Calling my kids, being around them, you know, taking them shopping, being happy about their birthdays or Christmas or school. I'd be happy about the littlest stuff with them, you know? Oh, uh, Dad, it's my birthday. Oh, we finna start school. I, I, it's time to go shopping. It's time to make them smile, you know? It's, it's time to do something. Even if it's a burger you bring around them or something, like being a dad, you want to do something to make them happy, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go get them a four-piece nugget or something, you know? 
Like, that's what right. I like doing, working and being a dad, man. Keeping people happy. That's what's up, man. So, it's funny. I remember that one, this one status you was talking about. And that's the thing, like with your status. Yeah, they be real, man. People don't understand, man. I speak, I, I speak that real <laughs> over here, man. And that's what, hey, I'm not scared of what, what you know. That's one thing about me. I'm not scared of uh, the dislikes, man. I don't never look forward to a dislike, you know. And that's what's powerful about me. I, I'm not looking forward to a dislike, whether it don't go well for me what I post or not. I'm not looking forward for somebody to like it, you know. If it don't bring you happiness or smile or laugh, hey, keep it pushing. That's how, that's how I keep it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, because sure, you know what I'm saying? Nobody is for everybody. Yeah. And I learned that, you know, even with me, you know, I'm not for everybody. But the ones that I am for, you know, I appreciate them for rocking with me and everything. And just the fact that you, you know, create your own lane, you know, like I can really see you, you know, being on an 85, you know, South show one day, bro, sitting on that couch. I'll be watching that show all the time, man. And I was like, man, one of us need to be on that couch, man. You know, just putting our city on, bro. Cause I tell people this all the time. We have so much talent here. You know, we have so much versatile people here with great minds and great thinking, but you know, the, the ignorance I weigh the potential and I'm trying to like flip it around. I'm trying to really give people an opportunity to showcase the, their best abilities. And that's why I, I created this platform and just wanted to, cause all we do is like, you know, comment, you know, react, but we don't interact like we used to before the social media stuff. So I was happy that, you know, we are able to, you know, sh showcase who who we are as humans and, our per and show our personalities and, you know, people can actually can feed off our energies, man. So that's what I wanted to do. And I always wanted to just, you know, meet you and, and, and to tell you that even when I was going through my tough times, like you, you got me out of that. You, Cheer me up, man. Nigga, like you made me laugh. Appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially with that video, man. I won I don't know if it, he was your homeboy. Or Which one? But you said so like he was like you like you recorded it or something. It was like nighttime and he was like in your face or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he was, but he was mad. Oh bro. yeah, yeah. I know, I know you told me. Yeah. <laughs> I done made so many videos about him. He finally caught up with me, man. And he was angry with me. He wanted to take it out on me, but he know I'm such a good dude. He ain't want to fight me for real, but yeah. I'm a good dude. He wanted to fight me, but then again, he didn't. Oh. He like, I can't fight Lou, man, but damn, Lou will be pissing me off. Oh, like, man. I piss a lot of people off, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but, you know, I can't care about that because comedians don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's boundaries you don't step over, though. You know what I'm saying? I respect that, but... As being a comedian, you attack, man. You know what I'm saying? You attack for the good. You make people laugh. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't like that, you know? And he was one of them persons that, hey, I ran into you. Man, I got to let you know some shit. But it was all love with him at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But he, yeah. it was, that was a funny moment right there, man. <laughs> oh, man. Like that, you know, that one and then the powder one, bro. Which like, one? The one from the table? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, they had like five, five old lines on the table, bro. I was that's, like, the, that's, that's the heartbroken. I made people feel me on that one, too. That's like when your girl leave you, man, you know, you know, you got to relate to some people. You yeah, A dude going to be stressed out when that, that favorite girl leave him that one. You know what I'm saying? No matter how people play and try to play it all, I don't love the girl. Or, man, when that one leave you, man, you be sick. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just was relating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I died because like I can relate to that. Cause, man, you know, say so I ain't trying to throw nothing in the bus, but I had this one uncle, man. He was out here ooting, yeah. man, a woo and shit. I remember this nigga lit up his crack pipe in front of me and shit, and I was like, you know, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. like I was like, 
Like, damn. And I was like, dog, I'm yeah. right here. And he was like, oh, yeah. And he was like, like, shit, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you heard about it. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't really see it. You know, I was just like, damn. Like, like, you bold, you know. But that's the type of, you know, and that's the thing. Like, that comedy, man, like, was, like, back in the 90s and shit. Like, when Bernie Mac and all of them was in a, you know, prominent, man, like, it's not like Them that the real anymore, ones, man. Like, like, it's like, people don't understand. Like, I don't look, people be like, oh, you remind me of Kevin Hart and all I don't look at them like that. You know what I'm saying? I look forward past them. Like I, I, I like the uh, the Steve Harvey, the, you know the, uh, you know like you said the Bernie Mac, Samuel Jackson, Chris Tucker. You know what I'm saying? I like the people before mm -hmm. that, the people who paid the way. I seen like the Fridays. I grew up watching the Fridays, and you know, I liked the, the old stuff, the real stuff, the Jamie Fox, the Martin. That's why I base myself the skits and stuff. I don't look at no Kevin Hart. Yeah, he good and all that, but I'm a I'm a Cat Williams type of fan of. Mike Epps, you know what I'm saying? I'm I like the original, you know, the real funny. So that's why I grew up liking. So that you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing ever gonna be like the 2000s and the 90s, man. Early 2000s, no, 90s. This no, new no. stuff is just like they just throwing it out there to make money, basically, man. Yeah, man, because it's just it's just people afraid of being canceled now. People afraid of black backlash, you know, and. I feel like in order for it, all of that to end, we have to, you know, be honest. We have to bring back that no holds bar, that raw, real, and uncut. You know, like that Martin Lawrence, yep, man. There we go. That, you know what I'm saying, you go boy. Yep. You know, that's my that's one of my favorites um, stand-ups. That, Mike Epps, inappropriate behavior, the one he did in Detroit, um, D.L. Hughley's and – a little bit of everything, like, you know, bringing that, that real shit, you know, that knowledge with it, but also can make you laugh. Raunchy, you know, that's what I miss. Because these kids soft, man, like, a lot of stuff that we grew up on, man, we became, this, you know, decent people. Yeah. But it's just, it's just like, now, just you can't really speak your mind, man. Because I've been getting a lot of flag from this you know, tattoo, and it's with the name of my show, because a lot of people say it's very controversial, but to me, I feel like, you know, it's a part of me. You know, a lot of people don't really know what 1804 means, you know, that was one of my favorite flavor billions, man, because they used everybody. They didn't have no guns, you know what I'm saying, but they won the independence with just, you know, using their head, you know, using their brains and shit, man. Like, they would, like, figure out which plants was poisonous and shit, and they would use it against the British and then use it against the French and all that in their little country because it was based in Haiti, but we had slave rebellions here. So my main objective is is to show people that, you know, you can free yourself from being being a worker. You know what I'm saying? This, this, is, this is fun. You know what I'm saying? This is fun work. Not that type of work that, you know, you have to drag yourself out of bed and just, you know, really um, re recant your life like, dang, should I go to in today or should I call in? But, you know what I'm saying? Just having that financial freedom, you know, having that idea of, like, I can do what I want. I can be what I want. And that's the thing I want to do. And to trying to instill in people because you really know who fuck with you when you really go on your own, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Go to your own and see, you know, so you see who really supports you and see that who wants you to make it. So that's the thing that I, you know, been demonstrating since January, bro, is to show people that you can be what you want, you can do what you want because a lot of people holding themselves back. Yeah, man, that's that's all it's about, man. That's why I'm, you know what I'm saying? Big ups to you with this show, no matter what they say, man. You know what I'm saying? You did the show for you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's to help you out and, you know what I'm saying, free you from whatever you was going through or whatever you wanted to do with yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's God's gift for you, man. You keep going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to expand, man. And it's going it's to keep rising, man. You got to keep going. That's all it is. Same with me, man. Like, 
everybody be asking, oh man, you ain't got your YouTube or your Instagram popping. Like, I'm not on y'all time. This is my time. You know what I'm saying? And what's going to work for me is yeah. going to work for me. When I become who I am, it's not going to help you or benefit you. You know what I'm saying? So as in, hey, I got, I'm going to take these. You know what I'm saying? It's a small step. You got to small it all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Small to big. So we're we going to get there, man. Absolutely. We definitely going to get there for sure, man. We definitely we good people, man. And we're not no quitters. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. No doubt, bro. Like, because I just, I just really trying to get people to really, you know, take them, take life seriously, bro. Like, when it comes to, you know, being in a dark place and then, you feeling like, you know, like, damn, why God is, is punishing me? You know, I'm not out here killing nobody. I'm not out here ro robbing nobody. I'm not out here um, slanging dope or none of that. I'm out here, you know, being a law by a citizen. I'm a taxpayer. I'm a, you know, positive black man. Like, but I'm having all this bad shit happen to me. You know, like, what's going on here? You know, so... I just want to, you know, let people know, like, bad things are going to happen to good people as well. And never give up, you know, and and just, you never know, like, who's coming to rescue you, you know, who's going to come and, and lift your spirits up and, and give you that opportunity to make something out yourself, man, because I always had strangers, you know, been coming up to me, bro, like, you know, just telling me, you know, stay encouraged, man. Stay working. Stay on the mission. Because none of my family came to help me. A lot of my family left me to rot, bro. So when I really, like, you know, came to you and shit and was talking to you, bro, I didn't have nobody to do that for me for years. I had to do that shit on my own. You know, I was, like, you know, pretending that everything was okay, but I was dying inside. And that's what hurts, man. You know, that's what hurts, man. And um, also just, I also realized that you can't expect people to fill that void that's gone. And you always got to cherish, memory, you know, the memories. Like, because the memories will always live forever. You know, the memories will live outlive certain people. You know, as long as you keep them in your heart, because with my brother, I see him every day when I look myself in the mirror. And at first, it used to be um, a bad thing. It used to be a painful thing. But I embraced it because I was, I was lucky to have him for 40 years. You know what I'm saying? And everybody can't say that. You know, everybody can't, you know, spend time with their sibling like that, that long. You know what I'm saying? And be able to learn and be able to to grow and be able to have so many stories, man. You know, even though he's been gone for almost six years now, like I have his belt, I wear his belt every day. So I kind of feel like his belt is like a force field, man. Like keep me protected, like every day, like, and I just try to explain to people um, who still have their original family, like cherish yes, them, sir. Man, like appreciate them, love them, like, you know, make sure you have a, a gentleman reason of why you don't mess with them no more. Like, don't make it petty. If it's something that y'all can talk about, just make sure, because it only takes seconds for them to, to, to go. And that's why I make sure that I make, you know, amends with people. And to try to make sure that, like, I do something big and try to impact people, encourage people, help people, man. And because I've really been helping people, bro. Like, just everybody recognized me, you know, at work. At first, I was just an outcast and shit. But now, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, a, a, a folk, a folk lord or something. I don't. You know, not doing this for clout. I'm really trying to do humanitarian work right. and and just try to give people just chances to think and it's just by sharing my, you know, experiences and stuff like that. It's just, you know, 
I feel like I'm doing God's work. I feel like I found my purpose and because and we all have one, you know, and I just always wanted to just try to give back in the best way I can. So that's why it's just really important that we um, give everybody 150% of us. All the know? time, man. You got to, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I wake up to. When I get off work, I be looking forward. Like, damn, you know, somebody might be down. Like, man, you you are like never think about stuff like this. Like, you know, I'll be going through my inbox and stuff. Like, it's like really people from like all around the world, man. Like people from Africa, I click on their page and it's like, they telling me like, dang, man, like you make me and my husband smile, you know? And I'll be like, damn, this mother from Africa, what, what shit they doing knowing me? I'm just sagging all, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, Illinois, like, man, it's just, it's amazing, man. Like, you know, it ain't just people will think we touching that Saginaw people. We ain't just touching Saginaw people. We probably got to get on from the no. Saginaw thing, but it's people, it's the people right around here watching us, man, around the world, man. That it's powerful, man, that, you know what I'm saying, that you can talk to people, communicate people, people listen to us, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's we being leaders, you know what I'm saying? And I like my gift, man. I'm in my own lane with my gift. Like, you know, there's a lot of basketball players, a lot of rappers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, I'm just, I got my own lane and I'm happy with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. very happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's the thing um, with, with these, you know, young kids, man, is that, you, you know, they think that you got to play basketball no. or rap or game bang to make something out yourself. And that's not true. Because I'm far from a rapper, you know, I'm far from all those things that statistically I'm supposed to be, but I'm showing people that you can be smart, that you can be yourself and still make it, still have swagger, still have charisma and still have, you know, your your soul and your self-respect and your self-worth, man, because I don't want anybody to follow in my footsteps before I got here because I had to take a lot of L's, you know what I'm saying? So now when I got the chance to get the W's, you know, I appreciate the W's more than the L's and just try to make everybody um, just have the, the sense of like, dang, like, like, dang, he went through that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going through something small, but he went through something that, was life changing or could have just, you know, he could have just said, fuck it at any time, like, or gave up, but I'm going through something small. So I can make it. If he making it, if he's still smiling and he's still making people laugh and that's all, and that's all it's about. It's all about, you know, contributing, you know, to, to each other, right? Cause what they're going to be saying about us in 50 yeah. years, you know? And I thought about that. A lot, you know, I think about a little bit of everything, but mainly I just think about, you know, when I was a kid and when we was young and all the people that we looked up to, man, because, shoot, you know, my cousin was the first millionaire in the family, bro. Like, when I was watching him on TV get drafted, bro, and, you know, signing that big contract, man, and being one of the biggest wide receivers, in the, in, in, the, in the country, like shit, he raised he the raised bar. The heart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was like, man, how the hell I'm supposed to do <laughs> that? But that made me step to the, you know, step to the, you know, to the occasion. Like, okay, because that's why I never really said that he was my cousin. You know what I'm saying? While he was in his prime and this and that, because I wasn't trying to, you know, clout chase and nothing yeah, like that. Way. You know, I yeah. wasn't trying to. Yeah, like everybody else, man. And but when he died, bro, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, you know, where was all this love when he was when he was here? You know, my cousin Chuck yeah. Rogers, you know. Just in case you didn't know. But that's what people do, man. And I feel like if you hate me now, you can hate me later too. You know what I'm saying? Don't love me when I when I become a success or you know, vice versa. You know, I don't want I don't want that fake love, bro. Like anybody who, you know, hate my guts and shit like that, like keep keep the same energy. You know, that's all I want. And I'm doing this, you know, for my family, bro. And because I have a lot, you know, saying pressure. It's pressure when you're the last son. It's a lot of pressure, bro. So I gotta, you know, what I'm saying 
turn it all around and try to, you know, make myself legendary, you know, because I see myself being on murals and being on wars. I ain't trying to be in front of no. This, this is steps we taking now, though, man. We 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 progressing, man. It's it's up from here, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel bad when I ain't come on your show the first time, man. But you know the stuff I was going through and stuff. But you know I supposed to be like the first guest, one of the first guests to, you know what I'm saying, to to be there, man. That that was special for me, you know what I'm saying? And I hold that over me for a minute, like, damn. I was telling I was telling my my uh children mother, like, damn, man, I supposed to been on this show, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can't let them down this time, you know what I'm saying? And, I was calling, you know, my dog, you know, for the hoodie. You know, y'all shout out to him. Y'all know y'all gonna get one of these hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Mark does, you know. Yeah, no doubt. But, no uh, doubt. you know what I'm saying? Man, we blessed, man, as people. And uh, I, it's like I hate for people to dislike me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm so much of a good person. Like, I ain't never been into it over no female. Like, you know, I never had arguments over a female. Like, I'm, I'm just all good. You know what I'm saying? So I hate for people to dislike me. I, I'm always aiming to make somebody smile. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's like that with my family. My family crazy over me. You know what I'm saying? They like, they know it's all love. When I, when I come around, it's all laughter. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this ain't just Facebook. You know what I'm saying? This this around the family, my kids, my friends. My friends love me. Even my coworkers love me. Like, you know, they tell me like, damn, you, you know what I'm saying? You the reason why we go to work. You know what I'm saying? You push us to even want to be here. That's your spirit being around you. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, we some blessing. We some blessed people, man. You know what I'm saying? And all good come out of that. You know what I'm saying? We can't think of nothing bad. We went through what we went through, and that's what's going to help us. Like, uh, people tell me, like, with my sister, you know what I'm saying? And they be mm -hmm. like, damn, man, how strong get you? I lost a cousin. I was down for, you know, for a minute. And I'm like, it was just the people that was that was in my ear. Like, one, you was one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even know you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and you was just there, yeah. like. Like a close family member, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you was there, bro. Like them talks, everything. Like you, you kept getting at me. Like some days I probably will not even be bothered to read it, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And you was still there. Like I'm gonna let you know. Like you know what I'm saying? You probably ain't in that mood for it, but hey, man, I didn't have this, and this is something that you should have. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is some words you should uh, know about it. Uh, oh, to keep you going. You know what I'm saying? Don't lose your head, and I won't lose my head, bro. Like. Shit, anybody would have lost their head off that, but ain't no losing my head no more. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm just looking for the ups. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for to get my kids up out here. I don't want my kids being here. You know what I'm saying? And it starts little. Like like I said, it starts little, but it ends big. So mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm, I'm keeping yeah, going, man. I'm just going to keep going. I'm a fighter. Yeah. You know, that's the, and that's the thing, like, you know, my brother, you know, will always tell me, like, every battle is not yours to fight. And when I was going through my shit, bro, I lost so many friends. <laughs> I lost, you know, like, my siblings left me for years, bro, for two years, bro. And it was just like I was in solitary confinement. And, like, literally not in prison, but I was – you know, incarcerated, bro. I was contained, you know what I'm saying? Just with my thoughts and like people don't really know what that has an effect on you, bro. Real talk, like, Mark. It, and yeah, and Mark, man, like, <laughs> man, Mark, man, brought me back to life, man. It was, you know, I would say like he was like a wish That's doctor. That's a good bro, dude, man. He said That's something. good dude. You feel his spirit, yeah, man. Like he said something to me, bro, that told me, like, like man, like you got to do this show because I always would talk to him about this show, but I oh, never. Oh, so you've really, been talking you know, about the show? It. Yeah, yeah, I um always wanted to do something like yeah. this, but I didn't think I was important. I didn't think people was gonna like listen and shit like that. But he told me like you got to do this, man, because I believe in you. Like you helped me, and I'm gonna help you. Like, whatever you need, man, I got you. So when he said that to me, man, like, you know, my parent, for my parents, for my siblings, for the people that I see every day and shit like that, like, it was like a flame at night yeah. and shit. Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying, have risen from the grave. And 
started to, you know, really do this, man. Like, it'd be nights where I'm just dead, beat, tired, bro, but I can't wait to, you know, do this, bro, and talk to people, bro, and and, and just give everyone my testimony, man. And we, we like the same person, bro. Like, you know, we have a lot of similarities, man, and and I can tell, like, you have a good heart, man, and, and having a good heart can be also dangerous. It is dangerous, man. You know, it, it brings fail. <laughs> it brings failure, man. It brings so much failure. Like, man, you be you you think it's so much. Like, you you put everybody before you sometimes, and it, and it, and, it, and you fail, you know. But I learned that life, you gotta fail, you know what I'm saying? To to rise, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, it ain't all about just rising. How you gonna get your hands dirty? How you gonna you know get your hands dirty if you ain't working? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I just look at life and what's it come with it. What, what it come with it, man, you know? Helping, you know what I'm saying? Having a good heart, helping and, you know, putting people before you. But, you know what I'm saying? If that's what God want me to do, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna pay off, man. It's gonna pay off for the both of us, you know, for sure. Yeah, man, and I just want you to know, bro, that I didn't take that personal, you know, it's just, you wasn't, you, you know, you wasn't meant for episode yeah. three, but you, but you meant for episode 36. Yes, so I, I ain't tripping, yep. you know what I'm saying? Cause I know, I know that, you know, I had to keep going. You know, I said this spot for yep, you. you did, most like, I don't, I don't do that, you know, um, pillow talking yep. shit, bro. You know, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm good to whoever's yep. good to me, you know? And that's and that's something that just a lot of us, you know, brothers out here, man, especially in Saginaw, needs to work on. Cause everybody, I'm not everybody's enemy. Like, you know, I, I don't want to be anybody. Man, enemy. Hey, I'm just trying to live. Right, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm just trying you're to right. chill. And it, it come from that pillow talking. A lot of that, man. Like, it's a lot of people I didn't, you know, like it's people I didn't get in their videos and I didn't get in the interviews and 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 they hold that over me over they say it's over you never know what people are saying some people say it's over a female you know they say maybe the cousin mm -hmm. don't like me so he ain't liking me you know what i'm saying or his brother don't like me from a long time ago so he feeling the way no nah, i don't put people beef on my beef never will you know what i'm saying because i'm a people person you know what i'm saying like i tell my family like uh you know we can stay away from this person because you don't like them but i'm not gonna put myself in a situation not like this person because you don't like them. that 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 shortens my area where I need to go. I like to go everywhere, man. I, I like to go any store. You know what I'm saying? I got children. Why would I limit mm -hmm. myself? Cause I grew up in Buena Vista to just go to a BV store with my kids. Hell no. I want to take my kids to the East side store, to the South side store, to the North side store without, a, without anything being saying to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be at the mall where I ain't got to carry no gun. Cause I never carry one. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be, I want to go mm -hmm. to Chuck E. Cheese. I want to be at the movies where Ain't nobody, I ain't got to worry about waiting to go outside. And that's what type of person I always put myself to be in, that position. So I got children, you know what I'm saying? That life ain't for me. I'm a cool dude. I like to make people laugh, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all about mm -hmm. the route they take. The route they take ain't for us, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I didn't go to rapping. I can rap, you know what I'm saying? It's a, I'm blessed to do a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? But rapping ain't for me, you know? And, and mm -hmm. uh Making people happy, man. Making people smile. People inboxing me, texting me. Hey, man, you know, I was going through, I was crying in my bed today. You you did that video today. You crazy. You made me happy. Something wrong with you. Like, I like when people say something wrong with me because, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm very smart and I'm doing it to make you laugh. So, it's nothing wrong with me. It's just the smartness that I know I can make you laugh. I know I can make you cry. I know I can raise you out of that, that hell hole you in. You know what I'm saying? So, I like when people say that, like, damn, something wrong with you, boy, you crazy. Like, that makes me happy because I'm like, damn, I made this person smile. I made this person happy. I got this person thinking of me, you know what I'm saying? And, man, the love be everywhere, man. A store, I can be at a store, a gas station. Oh, you Lou Will, you you that crazy person, you that funny dude on Facebook. Like, it's, it's love, man, you know what I'm saying? So when it expands to a bigger city, it's really going to be on. A bigger state, it's really going to be on. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen, happen, man. Yeah, you know, just everyone they think the big shit is the blessing, but the small shit is the blessing. There we go. Too. Like baby, baby steps 
and still moving forward and still making progress. Cause man, I'm just really happy. I'm for happy you for you, like, man. It's vice versa, bro. Yeah, cause, cause you know, um, like I had got out of my my um myth, my mental imprisonment, man, just two months ago, yeah. bro. Like I'm just in a good space, bro. You know, I, I ain't gonna say that I'm back to who I was, cause that would never happen. But I'm content with what's going on now. And that's the thing, like people just expect others to bounce back so quickly and so fast when they didn't undergo the the anguish yep. and the agony. And I just want you to talk about that, you know, because I know what it's like to you don't want to disappoint nobody. You don't want people um pity or charity and this and that but you also have to just you know like okay i can't change it this is what it is how do i go from here yeah man that's that's it's just life man you know and we can't we can't we can't blame <coughs> ourselves for nothing like our time ain't everybody's time when yo when the day go for you tomorrow that's another day closer to, for your birthday for your age than a different day for me you know what i'm saying so as in that we can't we can't rush for nothing that, that just that goes back to when people were saying uh yeah man why you ain't got your youtube or instagram that that's that's the time they rushing on you know what i'm saying and uh let me go back mm -hmm. to this like with my sister like people like oh you got to keep doing your videos don't let that down don't let that that was my aspiration right there you know what i'm saying that was my biggest that was my biggest words to my life you know what i'm saying when people this was don't don't let don't go don't go down don't give up you know what i'm saying and it wasn't mm -hmm. a rush with that it was all about like this your gift man you know what i'm saying don't waste it and you know what i'm saying just man life's a blessing man and I'm, i just be happy man you know what i'm saying like i can do a video when i get off here with you like it's our time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we just got to keep thinking that. Like how you said about people might not even like your show and the name you called it. Hey, man, F them. You know what I'm saying? This is what I wanted to do. Nobody probably ain't like the name Dollar Will that you came up with or Lou Will that we came up with. We both got the wheels. <laughs> Shit, that's got to mean something right. special. You know what I'm saying? But nobody probably not like that. Yeah. Didn't like that. Nobody ain't like the shirt you got on or the color you wore that day. Shit, we... We're not looking for for people to like us no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're looking forward to expand for us, for our people, for our family, for our kids. You know what I'm saying? And whoever don't like it, they just going to be on the side, not liking it. We can't change that, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's what it is, bro. Oh, man. Man, no doubt, man. You know, like, I, I don't I don't seek validation yeah. no more. If anything, I'm seeking God. I'm seeking wisdom. I'm seeking understanding. Yeah. I'm seeking just because I know what you know portrayal is. I know that, and but I also know that it's people that come into your life for a reason, you know. And I'm just grateful for everything that I experienced, everything that I've gone through, and I was able to create. Um, you know, something that was in my head, you know, just knew who to go to. And I and I realized, you know, me being a, an intelligent person, that I was going to need some support. I was going to need some people. And that's why I came up with, um, with, with an all-black staff. I play local artists, music. You know, I wear, you know, black-owned yeah, stuff. Yeah, you do your and, thing, man. You know, you know, I just try to, I want everybody to win, man. I want everybody to eat. Even if, even if you don't sit at my table, you know, even people at the kitty table, I still want yeah. them to eat. But, you know, go, go uh, sit at the kitty table. You know hey, what and that's what's good about us. <laughs> but, you, can tell, you can tell that's what's good about us, man. Like, man, like, it's, it's a lot of people with talk shows already, you know what I'm saying? But this your lane, this your talk show, this how you want to progress in, and this how you gonna lift up for yourself. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of rappers, it's a lot of comedians, you know what I'm saying? And my thing with comedians is, 
if you funny like me and you make me laugh, I want to work with you. I'm not no hater. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a part of your funniness because I know you funny like me. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I like, man. You know what I'm saying? I like I like when other people make me laugh. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I look forward to. Oh, he funny. Well, damn, if I get a show, I'm going to make sure I get him on because I want him on the same thing I'm on, even if he blow past me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all good. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you got a lane like me, let's just both go for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I be, they be putting all them, oh, who the funniest uh, comedian on Saginaw? No, I don't put me in that conversation. You should mention all of us. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be no list. Mention all of us in that list. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the type of heart I got. I'm not basing myself off, oh, he the funniest or put us all together. You know what I'm saying? Let us all blow. Give us all love. Support all of us. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I look at it like. Oh, yeah, man. No doubt, bro. Like, I can't wait for your HBO special, man. Netflix. Man, special, I can't bro. wait either, man. I got so much stuff in my head, man. Like, it's just for the big stage. You know what I'm saying? The, this small stuff, like, like the stuff I be doing on there, man, them video stuff, that, that be like a, a two-minute thing or a five-minute just going over some stuff, deleting error and putting it all together. Like, I'm ready for that big stage, like the movies type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready, man, but it's, it's going to come. So I'm just, I'm I'm patient, man. Patient is virtual, man, and I'm, I'm, I'm patient as hell, man. Oh, yeah, man. What was, what was your favorite movie, bro? Like, what's the movie that you could watch? Like from back then, and you can still watch and say like you saw it for the first time. Uh, life, man. Life is my favorite movie of all time, man. It can never, <laughs> it ain't never. People would think Friday and man ain't nothing like life, man. And Players Club would be second, but Life is my favorite movie, man. Like Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence is somebody I always looked up to, man. Like I always looked up to them, no matter what. So them my comedians, them my favorites, you know. So uh. Life, man. I just, I love life, man. Is that that movie is special, man? Yeah, that movie. You know, a lot of people just don't know how true yeah. the um, the story is because it's a lot of it was a lot of innocent black men that was going to prison, man, off crazy shit, off um, false accusations, and just prejudice, racism, and then they ain't get a chance to, you know, go on with their lives. They have to be locked up for the rest of their life. But it just, when you can turn a situation like that, because a lot of people don't really understand the sadness of life. They yeah. look at it as a comedy, but it's also more like a drama. Yeah, And it also is like, you know, it really happened to our people. Yeah, it did. You know, like, Brothers like you and me. And I feel like I say if we was um Ray Gibson and Claude Banks and everything, I think we would have, you know, we would have um came up with a plan along, you know, like ten minutes into the um prison. Season. Get the hell up out of there. <laughs> we would have got Yeah, I'm like, man, get the man, fuck this shit. Like they got me fucked. Well, up. I'd have been digging in the toilet to find a way out. Shit. Some type of way. Oh man. man. For real. They 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 playing yeah. just a little scary. Like they they waited too long, man. They they grew they grew old up in that mug, man. But hey, I understand how I be in prison, man. Like shit, that ain't nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? And trying to break out of there is a hell. You know what I'm saying? But damn, I would have tried to come up with some type of stuff, giving the CEO all my commissary or something. Let me up out this mug, man. Yeah, hey, man, no doubt, man. And and um, I really like how. They realized how much they needed each other. Yeah. Even though they even though they ain't talked to each other for twenty eight years, but it took for um I think it was it was either Claw yeah, Claw, yeah. When he um ate that pie. <laughs> Man, he had to stand when on he, he had to stand on them, <laughs> them rocks, them bricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeopardize his life for that pie. Fuck it. <laughs> but that, that's real though man yeah, like that, that friendship, like that friendship that friendship and bond you know is it, it it can't be duplicated bro like because this is like you know 
You know, he promised them all that. And talking about, you know, you will be a free man. I'll walk you out the gate myself. He said, you don't want to give me that gun, boss, because I'll probably shoot, I'm gonna shoot you. Shoot Yeah, I ain't going to shoot him. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. And that was, that, was, that was one of the real yeah. parts in that movie. That was one of the real parts, man. Like, that was an authentic part right there, man. Like, like I'm this is my friend. Shit, no matter what we've been through, man. Like, shit, this is what I'm going to die with right here. And that's how it's supposed to be, man, with the loyalty thing. Like, that shows you, like, everybody needs somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a helping hand, some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can do it by ourselves, but it's, it's somewhere, it's somebody along that way that helped you. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what shows right there with the life situation. They wouldn't have broke out of that if they would have still been split up as being enemies in there. But when they got back cool, you know what I'm saying? They put that that pettiness and stupidness to the side. They found the way. You know, two great minds better than one. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. Shit, basically, let's find a way. And that's what life te- that's what life teaches you. Like, let's find a way. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's make something happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Your mind and my mind together, we can make something big. You know what I'm saying? Instead of us being separate, we mad at each other. You being a hater on me for something that I ain't got and that you ain't got. So now we ain't getting it together. Let's put this together. You know what I'm saying? And and that's if that ain't teach nobody nothing, I don't know what do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, man. I just I just love the fact like how just people can, you know, just you know, commenting, watching, but we are changing a lot of people's mentality right now, mindsets right now, man. And, and I knew that this was going to be a special interview, man. But I had no idea how many people was going to be impacted. And, and that's the thing. You just never know what to expect. You know, it's just, I, I bet a lot of people haven't, you know, seen you be this complex ever. And that's why I wanted to, you know, bring you on the show because I knew it was something more about Lou Will, you know? Yeah. You know, like, I just knew, and, and and just the fact like we are able to just you know have a sit down, have a discussion, and and just really um interact with each other because everybody can't you know do that. Everybody can't uh, step outside the box, man, and because uh, they already created this expectation, yeah, about you, you know, or me and. I tell people all the time, like, I'm not what you think I am. Nah. I'm gonna let my my work do the talking for me. I'm gonna let my grind, my hustle, do the talking for me. Cause the moment I disappoint you, then it's gonna be all chaos. But if anything, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Cause you gave me an opportunity, you know. You really, you know, felt like you let me down but you did it, but you felt like it, you know, that shows integrity. And I respect that about you, man. And cause you know, most niggas just be like, man, I don't need him. You know, this is a little, a little show, you know, that's what people need to pay attention to is the words that people use in, in the sentence. Like words is powerful. Words, words is powerful, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's all, uh, um, you know, spoken, it's, it's, a, it's a spoken language, you know, like, I just try to just give everyone a chance to, to vent and then tell their stories, man. And that's we all what, have a story. Yeah, and that's what all I was thinking about at work, man. I'm like, not even at work, at home. I'm like, man, I got to get on this show. Like, I can't, you know, I, I was thinking, like, I can't cut nobody no more because, you know what I'm saying, bro gave me that, that spot, you know, to secure, but. You know, some hurtful stuff and stuff happening. You understood it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was like, damn, I got to get back on this show. And then as I see your show kept rising, you know what I'm saying? Just kept going up. I see the special people you had on there. Everybody you have on there is special. So I just see the people on there. I'm like, damn, bro, really doing this thing? I'm like, I got I to gotta get back a part of that, man. I got to be a part of that, man. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't been a part. So when you put the redo, that really made me a little happy. I'm like, damn, he put redo instead of just saying, you know what I'm saying? We got a guest. You put redo like this supposed to happen already. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, like this, 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 this special right here, man. Just digging into the bases that we digging into. It's special, man. You know what I'm saying? And like you say, uh, shit, you ain't putting on no front for nobody to like you because that moment you mess up. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna be looking at you away, and that's how I am, man. Like 
the stuff I put on Facebook, people be like, damn, you crazy. Even my mom and them said, my aunties, they be like, damn, this boy, you was crazy. <laughs> but I'm letting y'all know this is me. I'm not hiding nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't hide nothing. Like, yeah. if you want to talk about something, I'm going to talk about myself, too. Like, that's why I'm not scared of failure. I'm not scared of people laughing at me. Like, I like people to laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm giving you me. If I can talk about that person, that person, I'm going to give you something to talk about me. I talk about shit, a car that I used to have 10 years ago that was that shut down at Walmart. I put that on Facebook for you to laugh. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is me. You know what I'm saying? Everything is real. Ain't nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we all use the app for, for uh, different reasons and shit. I use mine just to be real. Like, mm -hmm. make you laugh, make somebody smile. You know what I'm saying? Bring their day up and just be real. Like, our life can be somebody else's life. And it is. You know what I'm saying? That's why my videos be like, it always be to touch somebody's life. Oh, this how relationships is. This how, you know what I'm saying? This how it is at the basketball court. This is always to be touch somebody's life because we want to be authentic. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nothing fake. It's just, I like being real, bro. That's the best part about it. Real carry you a long way, man. Absolutely, man. And, and, uh, and it's the only thing that matters. Yeah. It's, it's real. Yeah, because that fake shit is going to expire. Yeah, and and we gonna in inspire, but that fake shit gonna in expire. Real man. shit. Shoot, I'm so I'm so committed, bro. Like this is all I eat, sleep, and think about. You and know, that's, hey, that's that's a great I thing. Got, I got this on me for got this on me forever. <laughs> that's a great thing. You know, I seen you put on. I said, man, and, bro, doing this thing, man, like. <laughs> I like it that I said, yeah, bro, doing this thing, bro. Really, he, he, you a tour, you, you, you feeling it like this, this you, you know what I'm saying? Like you showing the motherfucker, this, this me. It ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's big about it, motherfucker. I got this tatted on me. I'm like, you know, I'm not going nowhere. This, 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 you gonna see me rise, or your ass ain't gonna see me at all from the hate shit that you on. But if you looking, you gonna see me rise, man. That's what you on, man. That's what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, y'all finna see the progress. Y'all gonna see me level up. Y'all seeing it now, like. Them little ass views that we doing for the city, it's gonna be, it's gonna get bigger, bro. It's gonna get bigger for us, bro. It's gonna keep getting bigger because they watching, bro. They watch. They want a part of it now, so it's gonna, it's gonna get bigger. And the more you keep bringing more special people, rappers and comedians and actors, bro, the more you are gonna be get big because you vice versa. You, you putting it all in different stages and different ways, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't just one way. Oh, he a talk show person, so I'm going to put him on my show because I'm a talk show person. No, you want to get rappers, you want to get basketball players, actors, and, and it's, it expands like that, bro, because a motherfucker can be like, oh, I write a book. I want to go on the 1804 show. You know what I'm saying? Even though you mm -hmm. is a, a spokesperson, they'll be like, I want to go on the 1804 show. The bro, bro just had a basketball player or a book writer or anything like man we expanding because we we doing different lanes with our with what we doing it ain't just one thing we doing you know what i'm saying and, and it's all blessed bro it's all love with it bro man i appreciate it man and it's and it's awesome man because like i'm making like something that happened yeah um 300 years ago cool again yeah you know, just think about when people be talking that bullshit about we not our ancestors and shit, our ancestors thought about us so much that a lot of them, you know, took them beatings, man. A lot of them took them lynchings, you know. And that's why when it comes to when people say or call me a nigga and shit, I just, you know, diffuse it real quick because I, I tell them don't call me that. They're like, what? And I'm like, you don't know how many people heard that to, to their grave. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Being on that on that oak tree, man, with a noose around their neck and about to get lynched, bro, and get, get castrated, get, you know what I'm saying, their fingers and their toes cut off. You know, people don't really think about that type of shit, man. And, and we're the most disrespected. On he the is, man. You know, nobody... Nobody, you know what I'm saying, really take our manhood seriously. They trying to erase our manhood. You know, they calling it toxic masculinity, which I never heard before. I don't even know what the fuck it means. But to yeah. me, I feel like when it comes to us as black men, bro, we're, we are, you know, being hunted. We are being attacked the most. 
And a lot of people don't really understand that, but I know what's going on, you know, I think differently. And I don't want every, you know, and, and, that, and it's the thing with free will, we all have it. I don't expect people to think like me. I don't expect people to, you know, carry or operate themselves like me. But it's up to you to to think I'm telling you the truth or I'm blowing smoke out your ass. I ain't gonna never lie to n nobody, you know? If anything that I have ever talked about or have discussed, man, I have always done research or I always have observed and I always had just experienced it, you know, firsthand. And I just always want to just, you know, whatever I learned, I always want to pass it on to the people that's not as smart as me or isn't that um, wise. And so we can, you know, try to, you know, work together and come together. And that's why I picked that title because everyone had came together in that slave rebellion and they haven't been colonized or taken over ever since they had fought their independence, man, 1804. And now it's 2021. That's how long they've been independent. That's why no allies or anybody will, you know, come to that country. That's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, bro. Haiti. You know, even though I had, you know, took the concept, but I was inspired by their unity and their togetherness that they fought, you know, based on a common enemy. And the common enemy nowadays is 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 black people too. You know, hey, it's our own people. That's what it's I was just gonna say, too, man. Like, so. damn, why we attack <laughs> each other? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, like, damn, man, like, man, I can't, I, I ain't got it in my heart to do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got it in my heart to be trying to kill the next black person, uh, or, or after the next black person. Like, that ain't any. Like, no matter what you did, man. I, I wish you the best. I, I, I'm gonna stay out your way. You stay out my way, type like. But damn, man, you never know. Like, you gotta think about it. When you know, like, say I I go kill a dude named John. Damn, you don't know if John got a daughter. You don't know if John got a a, a mom still alive, a dad that's taking care of him, a, a cousin, aunt. Like, like damn, man. Like y'all people be around here taking people from their families. And like, you know what I'm saying? And and that shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the best thing to pass. Pass on is knowledge. You supposed to be able to get knowledge to your kids, your nieces, your nephews. Like, like what you say. You give. You supposed to be able to get knowledge to anyone. You know what I'm saying? And like you passing that along. You know what I'm saying? Like some black people don't want to hear that though. You know what I'm saying? They think it. They think you they daddy because you trying to give them knowledge, and that's the hate in them. Like some people ain't grow up right. Some people just, man, they just ain't got it in their heart to to be good. You know what I'm saying? And I, you can't help that. Some people you can't help. Some people you can't talk to. You know what I'm saying? And you you communicate with who you want. You know what I'm saying? So I communicate with people I know gonna listen or or want the best for me or gonna give me some advice back in return. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's I, you feel the love with. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta stay away from them people who don't want none. You know what I'm saying? Or who don't want to see the best in you? Mm -hmm. Who ignorant? You know? Oh no, nah, forget that. We don't need no job. Let's go sell dope. Oh hell no! Nah. Well, I don't need to be around you, bro, because I'm never selling dope. I'm never selling weed. I ain't never touched none of that in my life. Not to be against nobody, but that's just something I never was into. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what comes with that. So why do you want to see me behind? You know what I'm saying? Why are you putting some in me to see me behind? For, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I sell dope for 10 years. That 11th year I sell it, I'm locked up for 15. Now I'm away from my family. Now I'm away from my kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm always thinking of my kids in situations. Hell yeah, I work. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck if I was making $8 an hour. I'm out here with my children. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here to see my children. I can call mm -hmm. them tomorrow. I can go get their ass. I can sleep with them all day. I'm not risking myself, you know what I'm saying? And to have black people around you that care and talk to you and tell you, hey, man, we're going to keep working. We can get some good out of this. You know, we can buy some houses. We can buy some more cars. We can, you know, get our little kids what we want or take them out. Like, that's good to have some people who listen and who want better for you, as in black. Because now the white man is letting us tear each other down, and they happy about it. This, this east side nigga going to go kill this north side nigga. Let's just watch it happen. That's what they doing. They watching it happen. Mm -hmm. And we doing it. And all we doing is becoming numbers. More and more numbers in prison. Prison is something that just set up mm -hmm. for us to be numbers as black men. From either you paying child support for uh, 
beating your girl up for her doing something on you, they gon' they they take sizes and a black man holding a number. And I don't want to be no number. I I don't want. I'm never gonna be a felon. I, I'm not gonna say never, but God's gift, I, I'm never gonna be one. You know what I'm saying? As in, I want to be something good. You know what I'm saying? And shit, felons be good too. As in, but. I just don't want that, man. I don't want my life as in what everybody else had as ignorant stuff. Black people, you know what I'm saying? I want something good. So, shit, consider me something else. Don't consider me black if that's what y'all considering black. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, we just tearing each other down. That's all we doing. But to be around people that's loved and gifted and like you, man, the, the talks, you know what I'm saying? The, to, hey, man, keep going after your comedian, keep going after your skits, like how you tell me, like, you know, you going at your videos and your podcast, man, like, that's that's good. That's that's the heart of a good people out of the black. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what we need around us. And that's what we got to keep doing. Keeping the good around us, the good support, bro. And shit, things going to happen. You know what I'm saying? The company Absolutely. keep around you is what's going to help you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And, you know, just like, you know, just like what you said, like, you know, I realized that I'm a bro model. Even I didn't expect to be one, I realized that I had no choice. You know, I had the, um, the notion to prove to people that, you know, I, I can back up anything and, and whatever. Um, but I realized that even with this show, I can't do it by myself, you know? No. I need, people like you, I need rappers, I need, you know, just everybody, you know, yep. this is a move, this is a movement. It's like a I'm not selfish. I've never been a selfish, I've never been a selfish person. I'm not just doing this for, you know, to br pass something down for my future kids or my nieces or nephews. I'm doing this for, you know, the next generation, you know, cause when we was coming up, man, we had everything, you know, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say everything, but I'm gonna say that we had, a predominant childhood, like we had a fairgrounds, we had yep. a, a wave pool, we had family affair, we had a uh, blazing 99. You know, we, we don't even have a rap uh, station, radio station, man. So I'm really trying to get some of those things back because they just pretty much gave up on us. You know, like the things that we took for granted as kids, you know, now we older, we like, dang, like, I wish I would have appreciated that. I wish I would have cherished that. And we can't really, you know, share those experiences with our children or our nieces and nephews and stuff like that about our childhood because they wouldn't relate. They can't relate. To everything, it, so everything has been put in. His, yeah, you're right. Like, everything has been put in their face. You know what I'm saying? Like, tablets, iPhones, and is nothing with knowledge really everything is easy to learn like you know what i'm saying i think i think we was more smarter than what the kids is now to be honest and people might not say that but i think so because we had to go find that information then what it is now is just mm -hmm. in our face you know what i'm saying nowadays kids can type in how do you find a takeaway or a plus and it's gonna pop up for them when back then you, you had to look for it, you know what I'm saying? Like social studies, you had to look for it. And now you can type Google in and it, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get what you're saying. Like most important is knowledge, man. Like you, you appreciate everything back then because it was more knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Now it's more technology, everything technology, everything moving fast, the TVs you can even touch, you know what I'm saying? So if you, why would your kid want to yeah. learn something, how you learned it back then? When they can touch the TV and YouTube pop up and tell them everything. Siri pop up, you tell them, Siri, you can ask her anything. Hey, Siri, uh, who was the first black president? Is Siri going to tell you? Then back then, you had to go to that social studies book and go to page 1893, and you got to find some shit out. You know what I'm saying? That was knowledge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you feel me? Like, yeah. man, like back then, they don't know how it feel, but it's up to us to bring that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and speak to people and put great things into people and to put, you know, inspire people, you know what I'm saying? Like motivate them. That's up to us. You know what I'm saying? As in us, we being leaders, people watch us, you know, you ain't going to get no thousand views and uh, likes and all that. And then all your talk shows, bro, people want to come on your talk shows and all that. That's because people watch you. They, they inspired by you. They see the motivation that you give them. They want to come. They want to be a part of it. me. Like the views and stuff I get, people watching me, they 
oh, you this, you this. They they watch me. So is it me leading them wrong? I would be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lead right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, when I get to that stage, I want to be everything right for the right people. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lead the wrong. I'm going to let the wrong lead their damn self. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same with you, man. Like, as in black people, we got to speak good, man. We got to, you know, speak life into people, man. Because, shit, you never know who you touching. You know what I'm saying? Man, no doubt, bro. And when I was homeless, man, that's why I always say, like, when I didn't have nothing, I always, I had everything. Because I was able to just get a, new perspective on life and because when you you know going through your your transitions and shit like that you think you're the only one but when you venture out and see the world because i was able to live in new york and san louis and detroit and i would say detroit really matured me a lot because even though it was like a few hours away I lived in bad Detroit. I lived in the city, Detroit, man. I didn't live in the suburbs or nothing like that, but it allowed me to realize, you know, the struggle is everybody's struggle. It's not just my struggle, but it's everyone, you know, that's, you know, living in harsh conditions and unlivable conditions. And as far as like the crime and this and that, I really, you know, grew to, like, damn, like, I got to do something. I didn't know what it was yet, but I was able to just, you know, now, it's like, damn, like, you know, God knew what he, what he, what he was doing. You know, yep. God always know what, what he's doing. And people just really need to always realize, like, he's next to us, even when we don't see him, you know, and we go through things um, for for later, not now. We go through things so we can get a a proper understanding of of why we went through it. And I felt like I would not be who I am today if I didn't go through this those type of things. And you know, it's always you know sugar and there's always shit. And when you and sh and shit, you gotta believe that one day you're gonna be in sugar. And a lot of people just don't have that consistency because even you know while you um and shit you gotta make sure that you know you wiping yourself off piece yep. by piece and you go come back better and stronger than ever and then i just motivate everybody man just whether you you know a father that you know being you know punished by the courts and you can't see your children and this and that or if you're a, a, a single mother and, and you work in two jobs and you're trying to go to school full time i'm on some survival yeah. shit. i'm not on no yeah. bullshit bro i'm a, i'm on some um you know some real monkey see monkey do like if you see me can you know can can grow from all the shit that was meant to destroy me, then you can, you can too. too. Shoot, I got criticized for smiling too much. People like, you know what I'm saying? What the hell? He crazy or something? <laughs> but shit. Like, 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 damn. Yeah. Like, even when I'm even when I'm smiling on the book, it's a problem. But when motherfuckers be on here crying and shit like that, it's still a problem. It's still a problem. Like, damn, like, damn, what do you want me to do? What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> like, what more well, do you want from me? Yeah. Like, but, but it's just, people don't really understand the fact, like, we're human yeah. too, bro. Like, nobody really understood the cards that was stacked against me. And I never used any excuses. I always made changes, you know, and... I just want everybody to just understand and everybody who's watching that, you know, no matter what life throw at you, so, you know, that's why they got catchers, man. You catch that shit and you throw, throw that shit back at they ass. Like, all right, again, yeah. again. Real talk, <laughs> man. You know, be that's real, man. So what do you see yourself in five years and what's your main objective bro 
my, I see myself in five years, man. Like, to be honest, man, I see myself, man, like, as a movie uh, an actor, man, like, a comedian, an actor. Like, I see myself in so many movies, like, man, like, I, I dream of this. Like, like, seriously, I dream of me acting, like, big stages, like, man, like, with, with everybody who I love, like, seeing myself, like, in, with, in videos or skits with Eddie Murphy or Charlie Murphy, you know, Martin Lawrence, like, man, like, I, I, I know I'm special. You know what I'm saying? And I know I can get things done as in how they can. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mind don't never stop racing. My mind don't never stop moving. Like, I could be at work or on my way to work. I'm thinking of a whole skit to just just do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still going to put out this movie that I'm supposed to be putting out. I'm supposed to put it out in November, but I had stopped because, you know, I had lost mm -hmm. my sister. But I'm still going to put out this movie before things get too big before for me, I'm still putting out this movie. It's going to be about 45 to 50 minutes, man. But I'm still putting out this movie just to see what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Just to see where I'm at with what I want to do with myself. You know what I'm saying? And five years, man, I hope, I pray that I'm I'm where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 what I'm looking for, man. That's what I'm focused on. That's what I'm aiming at, to, to be on that big stage, man. Because I know I got it. You know what I'm saying? I know I do. Everybody tell me I do. And I, I, I'm before somebody tell you what you can do or who you is and how you got it, you make sure you tell yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I, I make sure I tell myself, mm -hmm. damn, I know you funny. You funny as hell. You know, sometimes I got to go back and look at my videos like, damn, man, you, you a funny motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I barely watch my videos. <laughs> I just post them and keep going. You know what I'm saying? But. You got to tell yourself yeah. that first. Like, if you want to be on that big stage in five years, make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no time to waste no more. Mm -hmm. You can't keep playing. Make it happen. People watching you, people loving what you do. If they love what you do, you should love what yourself do. So make it happen. You know what I'm saying? This is something you putting your time into doing. You coming home from work or at the basketball game or after you watch something, you want to make a skit and make people laugh, invest into it. Do something big for it. Make something out of it instead of just wasting time. Time wasted is the most important thing ever because that time you can't get back. You know what I'm saying? And in five years, man, mm -hmm. I see myself big, man. Like, real big. Like, happy. Welcome. And I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to make it happen, man. Like, that's my goal, to make it happen. Even if it ain't being wealthy, it's just being happy in the space that I want it to be at. You know what I'm saying? Because Sometimes money can't bring you the happiness you want or or that fame, you know what I'm saying? So just being happy to be somewhere where I think I should be at. That's where I want to be in five years. Yeah, man, that's that's real, bro. And I wish you nothing but the best, man. And Thank you, man. You know, we're going to be shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, shoulder man. man. That's what it's about, man. Let's, let's keep it going, you know? But yeah, man, you know, like I said, bro, I just, I'm just really, really proud of you, man. Thank and, you, man. You know, we we don't we, we don't get a chance to really hear that every day, you know, from the people that matter. But you know, I'm speaking from the heart, man. I'm really proud of you, dog, because you really have climbed instead of stick. Yeah. and everybody doesn't have that ability to climb and i just won't want you to know just with what you do it's it's just really remarkable and i just want you know everybody who's watching to to just do the same thing like because it's so easy to go astray and go further down than you already are, you know, and, but you got to keep going. You got to keep um, striving and persevering and all that stuff. I might get a tattoo of that word too, man, because that's yeah. me and that's you. And that's everybody who's watching, you know, we got to, you know, keep, keep each other encouraged, man. And, and stuff like that. Cause at the end of the day, we all, we, we all got. we got, man. And if we don't know that, we don't know yeah. nothing. We don't know that, we don't know nothing, no. man. We all we got. Yeah, man. And but everything about you, man, just just is 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 pretty much all all manifested. You know, you're going you're going to get good because you do good, man. 
And the ones who do bad, you know, they gonna they get gonna bad. Be bad. Okay. We're going to make sure that we bring you back, man. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this too, man. Interview, bro. I enjoyed this, man. <laughs> this, this got me feeling good, man. I feel good. I'm going to go get me a black too when I'm done, man. Yeah, man. I Man, I'm about to get lit. I, I don't <laughs> celebrate St. Patrick's yeah. Day, but my liquor yeah. green, though. <laughs> Enjoy that. You hear me? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just really this. Um, I'm just really, um, like, 35, 30, well, 36 episodes, man. And it, it just been just a pleasure. Like, just the fact that I, I did this, yeah. man. And, but I, but I, did, I, I'm not saying that I did it alone. But every, you know, the guest is guests is like yeah. y'all who make me who I am. And like, I just, I just learned from. Every last one of y'all, man, because cause you guys, man, it's just y'all stories and y'all um, vibe and everything, man. That's what really makes the 1804 show what Appreciate it is. It. And, and I just, you know, would like to, you know, bring you as a, you know, re recurring guest, man. Never, man. Whenever well, you need me back, man, I'm here. You hear me? You was here for me, you know, so whenever you need me back. Reach that call, reach out to give me, man, and I'm there, man. We can set that time up, set that date. I already told you the time to go in late night. So whenever you run and schedule something, man, I'm here, man. We, we as blacks, we gotta support and stick together. And if 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 if, if our hearts good, we want to see each other rise, and that's what's the best part about it. I want to see you rise like you want to see me. So we one call away. Oh yeah, man, no doubt, bro. And I just want to. Um, to let everybody know that the the next episode tomorrow with a royal lock, and and I just love talking to both men and women, man. And I'm really trying to bring some kids on here too, like you know, because I just believe that everybody can make a contribution to the cause, man. And and we just need to stop, you know, being ego driven and be purpose driven yeah. you know like nobody's you know bigger than the next person like if anything like we all come from the same old you know what I'm saying run down neighborhoods blocks that we don't even own and we need to you know stop this shooting shit man and really just you know try to you know have these kids you know play outside man because the, the weather friend and break and this and that and i don't want nobody losing nobody Me either else, man, man. We, didn't, we didn't everybody took yeah. enough losses let's that's let's, let's let's find a way mm -hmm. to gain you know let's bring children around let's bring more children in the world and stability man and you know what i'm saying all about gaining and adding more instead of subtracting man we didn't the years that have been subtracting from too many let's add you know what i'm saying that's what they got plus signs for them, them, them takeaways ain't they don't matter man so Right. I'm, yeah, bro, I'm thankful man. to be here and I appreciate I just, you, man. Man, no problem, bro, man. Like, shoot, man. If you ain't doing nothing tomorrow, bro, just hit me yeah. up, man. I, I'm here all day tomorrow, bro. And um shit, man. Just thank you for coming, bro. And I'm just pretty much gonna end this episode, yes, man. Like but yeah, man, like I'm gonna put this on YouTube, man. People go check us out, bro. I'm 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 popping on YouTube yeah. right now, man. Let them know. Let them up. know. Yeah, but there, but yeah, man. It's it's we made history. I bro. thank you, man. Appreciate you. And likewise, man. Yeah. Take care. All right. Peace.